Dickinson College is honoring its past by renaming a residence hall and campus gateway after former slaves. More than 50 descendants attended a special ceremony honoring their ancestors. Daniel Hamburg reports. As the country deals with the racial reckoning, students and faculty at Dickinson College have made it their mission to honor the past. Anybody who cares about history should understand that a lot of different people made this country, made this school. They are different genders, different colors, different religions. That's why Cooper Hall, named for a man who later became a leading pro-slavery ideologue in South Carolina, is now Spradley Young Hall in honor of Henry Spradley and Robert Young. They were formerly enslaved in Virginia and Maryland, and they came to Pennsylvania during the Civil War by and large, and then they lived free uh, in Pennsylvania. They worked for wages at Dickinson College, and they forged a life after the Civil War. More than a century later, Young's great-granddaughter is amazed by the honor. The recognition for all four of the individuals is long overdue, and I, I find it amazing. And I'm very blessed to know that um, I'm a descendant of somebody who contributed so much to Dickinson and to Carlisle, Pennsylvania. Some of Spradley's descendants are just learning about their lineage. He was a community leader. He helped the students on this campus. They even shut the campus down the day of his funeral. So he had a big impact here. And East College Gate is now Pinckney Gate honoring both Carrie and Noah Pinckney, who were popular African-American food sellers on campus for decades. It's a really inspiring tribute to the people who helped shape our campus in the 19th century, but also to their descendants who came from all over the country to be here to share. There could be more name changes in the future, as Dickinson says it's continuing to recognize diverse historic contributions to the school and the nation. In Carlisle, Daniel Hamburg, ABC 27 News.